Something extraordinary is happening at the Great Central. New bridges have appeared. Others have been repaired. We're building a new railway. There are two halves of the Great Central Heritage Line, one in Nottinghamshire, the other in Leicestershire. They both head towards the town of Loughborough. Once, these two were connected as part of the Great Central Main Line to London. That line was closed in the 1960s as part of the Beeching Railway cuts. After closure, the section of line in these archive pictures was demolished. The demolition work created a gap of 500 metres between the two surviving halves. Restoring the link has been called impossible. But we love a challenge. In 2017, engineers made a start. The first piece of the jigsaw to be put in place was the new bridge over the Midland main line. It's now ready to carry heritage trains, a substantial obstacle overcome. Next, the existing bridge over the Grand Union Canal was completely overhauled. It too is waiting for its first train in 50 years. Two of the seven phases of reunification are complete. Heading north from Loughborough, once the railway has crossed the canal, a new 300 metre long embankment needs to be constructed. It will finish with an arch, which will also be the first part of a new bridge over Railway Terrace Road. We've already got a reclaimed bridge deck we can use. Then the railway crosses a factory car park. Again, we've got a bridge deck we hope to use here. After that, it's the main line bridge, which, thanks to your support, is in place. There are two things left before the railways meet, restore an existing embankment and repair a bridge over the A60. That's it. Fix 500 metres and create an 18-mile heritage railway. So what's next? Well, we want to build these two stages, the railway terrace bridge and the factory car park crossing. It will be cheaper in the long run to build both of these sections together. Here's what it might look like. Crossing Railway Terrace Road, then the car park, and finally connecting to the mainline bridge. We're calling this bit the factory flyover. To pay for the two stages completed so far, we've raised three million pounds. We have to do the same again, so we know it's possible. Do you think you could make a small monthly donation, please? £12 every month, the same as one cup of coffee a week, would add up to an amazing contribution over a year. We know you want to see boots on the ground again as soon as possible. So do we, but we need to have most of the £3 million in hand before we can push on. There are huge benefits to reunifying the railways. It will grow the East Midlands economy, safeguarding jobs and creating new ones. It will connect local communities together. It will be an international tourist attraction, drawing long-staying visitors. It's somewhere locos that operate on the main line will always have a home to run, even if they are squeezed off network rail. And finally, our new line will be able to welcome charter trains full of tourists to the area. Let's work together to get the full picture. You've unlocked the dream. Now, let's finish the job. Thank you.